Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here. Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here. Bloody Jacob here, being my icon, Catherine Isabel, Daniel Lorenzo. Wait, what is your thing? Daniel Lorenzo. Okay. You guys better subscribe and watch my friend on his YouTube channel. He is kicking ass. Dr. Travis Preston. You've become harder to find than the creatures you track. My client would very much like to engage your services. Believe me, you can make all of your legal troubles disappear. All right, gang. Let's get busy. 50 square miles of lake. This thing could be anywhere. An industrial accident, they say. But I felt there was more to it. He's convinced it's a demon. I think we're talking about something completely new. Hope you're right, Travis. <laughs> Or do you think it'd make one hell of a trophy? Run! It's not evil. It's not a demon. It's just an animal. Hey, what's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring another movie review. This time we're going to be talking about Legendary, which came out in 2013 and stars Scott Adkins as well as Dolph Lundgren. You really think you can save it? I'm going to do everything I can. When I drag this thing out of here, I'll be the hero. You'll be dead. Parker, no! Oh my God, it's coming! All right, hold on! Travis and his team travel to China in search of what isn't supposed to exist. Their mission to capture a cryptid which is wrecking havoc in a remote village and they need to do this before it is killed by Harker, the legendary bounty hunter. So yeah, continuing my uh, Scott Atkins and general sort of martial artist, uh, you know, star binge. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been reviewing a uh, good handful of Jean-Claude Van Damme movies, um, as well as a little bit of Scott Atkins work here and there as well. I um, plan getting more Scott Atkins focused, but still mixing in some JCVD as well as others like Schwarzenegger. Um, I've just been in this great mood for it lately, and I did just buy uh, uh, the first two movies to a role Scott Atkins is very well known for, the Undisputed films, um, which I'm really looking forward to watching. But uh, in the meantime, I thought I'd check this out because it was on Netflix, and uh, I heard it's uh, you know, definitely not his usual kind of movie. Um, but I thought I'd watch it anyway, just you know, to get more familiar with everything he's done and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, granted, uh, I had read that Scott Atkins was actually injured when they were filming this, and you know, during that time, he deliberately took. Uh, you know, that time off of, you know, filming action movies and stuff like that, so that's why I did a movie like this, which isn't really so much of a, you know, especially like a fighting type movie, it's more of a, you know, like a sci-fi adventure type film, and that doesn't necessarily require, or isn't necessarily centered around, you know, the fight scenes or, you know, the, or uh, stuff like that. 
Um, so he did probably even less than he wanted to in this movie, really, because he got Dolph Lundgren in here, too. You know, very imposing sort of classic uh, action movie bad guy. Once in a while, good, but, but still he's known to be a bad guy. And you have Scott Atkins, you know, like one of the greatest, uh, pro most promising, and honestly, again, I'll just say greatest uh, nowadays in terms of martial arts star in there. So you think... You'd think that they'd, uh, you know, have a couple of really good fight scenes, you know, in between all the creature stuff. And they get into a couple of scuffles, but not much past that. Um, I mean, there's a punch thrown and, again, a couple of brief sort of struggles, but nothing I'd expect between the two. And again, that's probably due to Scott's injury, as well as it not being that kind of movie anyway, but still. Um... But, you know, that wouldn't necessarily ruin the movie. Uh, you know, it depends on the whole, uh, you know, creature setup they have here. Um, now there's, like, this uh, really large Kodiak bear or something at the beginning of the film that I thought was all right, you know. It, again, the budget was very is very low in this movie. Um, but it looked okay and at least felt intense because, you know, it's like a big bear, right? Um, but what they end up hunting is really this, like, reptile lizard thing. Uh, CGI, CGI is just awful, <laughs> um, and it looks like something out of, uh, I don't know, just some kind of really just low sci-fi show or some or movie or something like that, I don't know. It, the design just did not work right, combined with the uh, you know, quality of the CG they had. Um, and overall, I, I unfortunately did not really care for this movie, um, although it's not really Scott Atkins' fault. Uh, but a lot of the acting is sort of, you know, just very wooden, very typical in this movie. And that's because the material they do have, um, you know, it's pretty basic with its dialogue, you know, the you know, screenplay, its story, everything like that. Um, Scott Atkins is uh, fine in this movie, you know, he's likable, you know, he's a likable type of guy. Um, but, you know, he's, he's this uh, researcher, you know, uh, writer type of character. Um, even Dolph Lundgren in this movie, he's uh, fine again as well. Um, of course, he's the hunter, because <laughs> you're not going to have him being like a scientist or something, but <laughs> uh, he's fine in this movie too, but again, it's just very basic with what they have to work with. And the rest of the supporting cast is, uh, you know, okay, there's no one really memorable past them. Um, and it was very light as well, it's not like it's some low budget horror movie, it's not, I don't know if they were trying to go for horror at all or not. Maybe, again, the opening part with that bear, perhaps? I don't know. Um, okay, it doesn't say horror anywhere, so that's good. Yeah, sci-fi, action, adventure, okay. Um, but still, it felt almost like a family movie as well with how light it actually was in terms of how the characters were and uh, just the interactions and everything. It felt very light. Um, and I don't know, I just wasn't that uh, tuned in. I wasn't that uh, into it, unfortunately. And again, Scott Atkins... You know, he's fine in this movie, you know, with what he had to work with. Definitely not a, you know, great performance, but again, that's probably bogged down by what he had to work with. Same with Dolph Lundgren, who, you know, they both have decent, uh, decent presence to him. And if you really like either of them, I guess it's worth checking out. It's not overly long. Um, but if you're a fan, definitely don't use this to introduce anyone to either of them. <laughs> um, it plays out exactly how you think it would. And there's just nothing spectacular or too memorable about it. I mean, the uh, again, the CG is bad. <laughs> um, and when the creatures attack, a lot of times you don't really see the immediate damage. Um, most of the time the characters will either fly back or there'll be a edit delay. And then you'll see them fall down with like no actual damage and no actual contact scene. Um, because it's that cheap. Um, but again, you know, it's not, I'm not saying it's a cast fall or anything like that. And it's what the crew had to work with, but still. Um, it doesn't, uh, you can't really deny the fact that it came out the way it did. Um, and which is why I'm giving it about a D or D plus if I'm being generous. I wanted to put it out just a D, um, but again, I really do like Scott Atkins, and I'm really excited to watch the Undisputed films. I loved Hard Target 2. Uh, you know, I liked Assassination Games with him and Van Damme. And, um, you know, looking forward to watching all his films, but this one definitely is in a bright spot. Definitely one I'm glad I, I got out of the way early. Um, yeah, let me know, though, if there's something really redeeming you find about this movie, let me know. Uh, but yeah, let me know. <laughs> anyway, it's late. 
So yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.